Hi, I'm Emma, LCA Specialist at EcoChain, and I'm going to show you how you can create product scenarios in Mobius. This can be really helpful for eco design because it can already help you model changes in your product before you're actually producing that product and looking at your product already during the design phase and making evidence-based sustainability decisions. This video is meant for beginning users of Mobius and I'm going to use the t-shirt demo as an example. Let's say that I got a call from my fabric producer and he says like, hey, you're always using cotton for your t-shirts. And now I have this offer of a different fabric for you. So we're now making Utah fabric. Do you want to buy this stuff? Well, of course, as a sustainable company or trying to be sustainable, it's very important to me what then the impact is of this Utah fabric and if it's actually improving the impact of my t-shirts. I'm going to make a scenario for that. So let's say that we're talking about this t-shirt, t-shirt cotton black. To make a scenario, I open the product detail page of this product and I'm going to go to the top right to the tools button and click on scenario. And here I can create a new scenario. And what you see happen now is that you have the original product on the right and then a copy of that on the left, which is the scenario. You see it also in the name, it's called t-shirt cotton black copy. What happened here is that Mobius actually made a copy of this product. It will now also be in your product library. So it just kind of made a clone. You can now adapt the copy and it's, it's essentially kind of like a new product. So the first thing you want to do is give the copy a different name because you of course want to know what is in this model instead of just calling it copy. So I'm going to call it a scenario so that I know this is not something I'm actually producing. And I'm also going to adapt the name to Yuta like this. So what you need to know now is that how the scenario functionality works is that every time you change an object, Mobius will also copy this object and make a duplicate of it because as you might already know, objects are really interconnected in Mobius and if you change an object somewhere, then it will change everywhere else. That's why Mobius copies your object so you have a new one and you can safely change it without changing your other products. Let's see what happens. Let's say that we're going to change the fabric. So here we have cotton fabric and we use some cotton yarn, but now actually my supplier is buying Yuta yarn. So I'm going to remove this item from the model. Yes, I want to remove it. And you see now the word copy here with the cotton fabric and that is because Mobius has copied it. It's now a different cotton fabric. And you can see this actually on the right. So here, I just removed the detail panel. Here we see, I still have the old cotton fabric in the original and it still contains the cotton yarn, but on the left it has disappeared. That's exactly what we want. Let's immediately change the name again, call it Jute Fabric. And then we can add the Yuta yarn. I already modeled this previously, so I'm just going to add it. And I know that it's the same production process and the same amount of yarn required. So I'm just going to add it like this. As you see now, this object has also been changed because of course the fabric that's in it has also changed. So we're also going to call this something different. Like this. Now we modeled everything we need for this comparison. So now I'm going to collapse the model to give us a little bit more overview. We can now compare the scenario with the original. And what you can see is that actually the t-shirt with the Utah fabric has a lower carbon footprint in terms of climate change fossil. So that's super interesting. And that is of course because of the fabric, because that's the only thing we changed. So that's nice. But of course you cannot make your decisions based on one impact category alone. So let's say that we also find another one very important, let's say ecotoxicity fresh water. And that actually makes our decision a bit more difficult because here you see that the impact actually goes up when you're using Utah. So we have to take that into consideration when we're deciding whether you want to use this new fabric. But there are also other views that you can use to compare your products and your scenarios. I already showed those in a different video, so I'm not going to show them now. But you can definitely use them to review the differences. So in this video, I showed you how to make a product scenario in Mobius and how you can use this to do some eco design or to improve your product's environmental footprint. If you have any more questions about this topic, we have a lot of resources available. Good luck making your own LCS in Mobius.